Hi guys, there's this very interesting article I want to read you and I don't want anybody to take offense to it because at this point in time, you live in America, it applies to you. And this is from a Native American perspective. However, as the way I look at it, it applies to all of us in America. So, and, and you'll understand when you hear this. And um, this, oh, ooh, let me just get to this article, okay? And if, if you're a religious person, don't take any offense to this either. Because, um, it, like I said, it comes from a Native American standpoint. But, however, it's happening to you too. So, hold on, and I'm going to read this. Hold on. Now, this right here is called, Why Papal Bull Claiming Dominion Over Non-Christian Lands Still Matters. And you're probably saying, what the heck? Um, but this past May, um, this person, he went to the archives of the Indies in Seville, Seville, Spain to see the original documents issued by Pope Alexander the VI in 1493. Now, remember, America was discovered in 1492 by Columbus. And to see the original original requirements are the requirements issued by the Spanish crown government in 1513, 500 years ago. The archives director was kind enough to let us see the two original papal bulls, and he traveled there with some people from other nations. The requirements was written to formally notify the original and free nations in places such as Panama and elsewhere here in Americas that they were required by the right of the Bible, the crown, and the sword to hand themselves over to Christian domination in the form of the Catholic Church and the Spanish crown. What do I mean by domination? Domination is arbitrary and unrestrained control exerted by one person or group over another person or group are excurted by one nation or people over another. Arbitrary means you get to make it up as you go on the basis of a whim or fancy, meaning fanciful idea. You know, given that a whim is a sudden desire or change of mind, domination is accurately defined as presumption of being required to obey the desires and the ideas of others until a habit of obedience is well established established excuse me the t-shirt slogan obey is missing a, missing a conclusion obey the domination around 235 AD the Roman Empire entered a phase of despotism that historians of the period, the dominant, a couple of years uh, ago, a Latin scholar told me that the dominant translates in English into domination over everything. Alternatively, it could be phrased everyone and everything under domination. Today, overwhelmingly evi evidence in the context of the U.S. Patriot Act I and Patriot Act II and the authorization use of force in the NDAA Act or the National Defense Authorization Act, global and unrestrained NSA surveillance, billions spent on the militarization of the police, and etc., suggests that the American Empire has entered into its own version of the dominant, or what the U.S. military has termed its program full spectrum domin dominance 2012, I mean 2020, excuse me, for the year of its scheduled completion. A precursor of today's dark period was manifested 500 years ago by the Spanish crown and the above-mentioned requirement. The document was based on bizarre Catholic Christian worldview that God had crea created such key persons as Adam along with Eve as an afterthought as well as St. Peter who became the first in a long line of popes. Later, Pope Alexander VI generously donated the Catholic sovereigns King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella and awarded them domination over all non-Christian Indian lands discovered and to be discovered. As a result of this belief, the Christian God's providence and the Pope's eminence generously 
required that Indians, those discovered and to be discovered, to obey what the theologian Louis Rivera in his book The Violent Evangelism 1992 calls the Spanish domination, thus the requirement arbitrarily imposed on free nations and peoples to obey the domination of the state through the directives of the Spanish Empire and the Empire of Charles the V, the result was bloody genocide being committed against originally free and independent nations and peoples and millions were killed and millions more forced under domination. Today the phrase, the state, is shorthand for the state of domination, which everyone, including indigenous peoples, peoples under the presumption of dominance, are now considered required to obey and the dominant of the American empire. Its agents deem the Patriot Acts 1 and 2 the authorization of use of force, the National Defense Authorization Act, and so forth, to be the requirements of our time. We are told that those documents require our obedience and subjection to the American government, the supposed representatives of the American people. It is the most updated version of a, of a model of domination that is thousands of years old, only this time it's being done with technological sophistication and capability that those empires of the ancient past could not have dreamed of. All this is what the Dark Lord Dick Janey termed the new normal. Nonetheless, we as the original free and independent nations and people of this hemisphere, the Americas, still have the spiritual and ceremonial capacity to remember our original free existence. This is our permanent status quo, our fallback position. Our original free existence renders void any and all claims and any rightful or legitimate domination over us in the name of conquest, but it will not invoke itself. We have to explicitly invoke it. So if you want to be sovereign, that's what he's saying, you have to be sovereign. You have to invoke it. You have to act upon it. From the viewpoint of the originally free political identity and law systems, their supposed requirements based on their arbitrary ideas, desires, and whims are null and void. The boarding schools and other psychological operation centers used against us and our ancestors <clears throat> during their childhoods were efforts to despiritualize us. But the fact is, this column is being written demonstrates that those efforts failed. Our original free existence, B.C., before colonization, is the source of our right of self-determination, which makes us forever rightfully free of any claim that we must obey their claim to a right of domination over us. Our full right of self-determination entails the right to freely choose our political status as nations and peoples, which includes the right to live our lives on the basis of our sacred birthright, entirely free from any and all manifestations of the wrongful and illegitimate systems of domination. And as I said, this applies to everyone at this point, regardless of your religion or your spiritual belief. We need to all say, no, we're not going to be dominated. So they took the Patriot Act, Patriot Act II, and the NDAA, straight from what the Spanish queen and king had got given to them by the Vatican. Isn't that ironic? So we're under the new domination of the empires. So um, it's a good read and it really makes a lot of sense and it'll make you think. So if you really want to be sovereign, invoke that sovereignty upon yourself. I mean, that's what the whole... Americas, and I'm talking about Canada, uh, America, and the South Americas, and Mexico, and all of us need to do at this point, at this stage in humanity. We are free. We love, we do, we love one another. I, I don't want a war, and I hate the control. I hate the control state. So I just want to send out blessings to everyone, because I do love you. But I thought this was a very poignant fact which has been stated and I want to send peace, love and truth and light to all of you and I'm out.